All right, guys, what's going on? Uh, so I'm going to make a video on uh, Windows Vista and 7 tonight. Uh, basically, this is just going to show you how to make your Windows Vista or 7 and most likely Windows 8 when it finally comes out. Uh, this is how you're going to make your system run faster using a flash drive or a thumb drive or a removable hard drive, whatever. Whatever you want to call it. A little flash drive. I bought a 4 gig one. Um, it's right here, actually. It's a little 4 gig. And uh, you can buy any one. I advise you format it to uh, FAT32. So just so there's nothing on it. Uh, but if there isn't anything on it when you buy it, then you don't have to worry about that. Um, so first things first. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to take this and plug it into a USB port. So I'm going to plug it in. Now you could have a multi-USB port. You could have um, you can have a multi-USB port. You can plug it into a main USB port, even an er internal USB port uh, for uh, desktop computers. Now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go here to computer and removable disk G. So uh, hold on one second. I'm just going to pause this, which I forgot how the fuck to do this. Um, okay, anyways, um, I had to take it off because I already had it set up, but I just want to show you how to set it up properly. So uh, first, what you want to do is um, if you have a flash drive, like if it's a scan disk or um, if it's uh, some third party brand, what you're going to want to do is right click on this and you're going to want to format it. So if you go to the format screen, this will come up and it should already have it registered as FAT32 default. And uh, all you got to do is select quit format. So we're going to quick format. Warning formatting will erase all data on this disk to format this disk. Click OK. Click quit to cancel. So you can format it. The drive is in use by another program. Uh, if that my case it's gonna be in use um, so but that's how you format it so then you just hit start because all you're gonna do is just plug it in and format it right away after the drivers install and everything and then once that's done you can you know uninstall the drivers but that's more hassle which you really don't have to worry about with uh, Vista and 7 so once you format it you will see it pop up here so what you're gonna do now is to speed up your memory basically is we're gonna use this little flash drive here as memory so this is gonna be like backup RAM which will make your system run faster now you have to be on Windows XP or not XP sorry Windows Vista or Windows 7 and possibly 8 when it comes out I'm not sure if 8 is gonna have this cap capability or not so uh, if it does I'll make a video on that because I'm going to get Windows 8 no matter what. So you're going to right click on this and go to properties. So click on properties and the properties of this removable drive are going to come up. Let's drag that over here and you're going to see this tab called ready boost. What you're going to want to do is click the ready boost tab and you're going to say use this device. So highlight use this device, fill in the bubble there and I advise use all the memory on it if you're not going to use this for you. I mean you can set it to like you know half of it or whatever um, so you can store media on it, but I'm just going to use the whole thing because I got an 8 gig flash stick anyway, and I just had a little extra money to throw out, so I was like, hmm, I'll speed up my computer. So once that's done, you're going to click apply. So Ready Boost is configuring your cache. Take a few seconds. And do, 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 do. you will see that the removable disk G only has 5.96 megabytes free now instead of 3.75 gigs it's going to be highlighted in red that shows that it works so when you're done with that click OK so it should look like this in the end a red line with like 5 megabytes free of space if you use all of it or depending on what you use you can vary that space that you use um, judging on operating systems like 32-bit uh, can run up to 4 gigs um, so if you have like three gigs, you can use an extra gig. Uh, but uh, if you're running an x64 bit um, operating system, they can 
use up to uh, 16 gigs of data so yeah that's pretty cool so that's it and uh, that's how you do it so talk to you later guys and enjoy